Hello Internet, this is Deseret Toys, I'm Deseret Scott, and today we're going to start our first series. We're going to go with a pocket rocket mini bike. I have no idea what model. We had acquired it many years ago. And before we get started on this, let's rewind it a little bit to back before YouTube when I first got it. I first started working on it. Now bear in mind, I have forgotten to record and have lost many filming since this project began. So I'll catch up with you in just a few minutes. Hello YouTube! We're going to build our th first theme bike and that weed eater motor is definitely going away so that we can put the 212 in there. Why? Because I think I can. And uh, I'm going to take y'all along for the journey. Alrighty, so off camera I got the body panels all and the body panel all off. Looking around here you can see the electronics box is, well, damaged at the very least. And these plugs look like they're pretty old and worn out and so all of that's probably getting replaced this was an attempt at a gas tank and uh that's getting replaced and i think we're gonna end up stripping all of this off of the bike here and probably starting from scratch saving things like the little light bulb here and, you know the little light bulb socket and the little switches and the throttle control stuff but ultimately most of this is probably just going to get redone all together. I'm thinking these cable pull brakes here. We're going to try to upgrade them to hydraulics. Front and rear get hydraulics. See how exactly the speedometer knows how fast the bike is going. Because so far it looks like it's all in here. There is a couple little wires. I don't know if you can see them real well right down here. That come out from the spark plug area and I'm not real sure what exactly that is for hopefully when we're all done it is just gonna be awesome as you can see someone's wonderful idea of replacing the shock was to take the spring out and just shove a little piece of PVC in here so we're gonna get that replaced too most likely this frame here is gonna get opened up because I really want to get that 212 in there. Because the one thing we need to remember when we're doing these bikes, there's supposed to be an itty bitty version of super bikes. 49 cc's at 1 6 scale really does not work out to even entry class super bike. Let's, uh, let's start tearing some of the shit off and see what we got. Alright, YouTube, so we had a little bit more off camera time because I'm all about my. The bottom of the engine has four mounting bolts here that bracket has four mounting bolts there that are like this a nice allen head and we are using a 5 sixteenths to get those out of there now if you look right here you can see these little bolts sticking out they are part of the slide adjust system that uh we're not going to be using any, but I wanted to give you an update on what things look like now that I got that engine out of here. Alrighty, off camera update. We got the wire harness all disassembled. We got that broken box out of there. And we did track all this down. And you know what? I'm thinking we're missing something here because all this did was it came down here, looped around. Like it didn't even touch the box, it just looped around the box. And then it came right back up to come out to the headlight bracket. So, I don't know. I, uh, I think it's broken or missing pieces or who knows. This was, uh, this was not mine originally. Alrighty. So I think here what we're going to do next is we're going to work on getting that old battery box out. We're going to work on getting the old battery charger plugs out. Alright, some more update. Got the battery box all off. Got that charger part all out of there. And uh, I started tearing apart the engine so I could start fitting it in there. And look at this. Oh, Lord. Oil is just pouring out of that carburetor. This is going to be a lot of work. Well, it's alright. That's what we're in for, right? So... 
get to it. Off camera update. We got the handlebars out. We got the rear swing arm off. Uh, we gave it a bit of a bath. Because I think all of this is going to have to come out. So that we can get that 212 in there. Wanted to show you what we're looking at so far. Oh yes, I also got the kickstand off. So, I'm thinking this is probably next. We're probably going to cut all this out here. Just cutting the little welds. Because I noticed when I had it flipped over. There is no welds on the other side of this thing. So, we're just going to buzz all that. And we're going to replace it with a new plate. Alright, so we're back from another off camera. We went ahead and cut all that out. Ground it all nice and smooth, all pretty. Everywhere that we cut everything off, we went and cleaned it all up. So, now what we're working on is I got this piece of box tube here. And we're going to cut new engine mount for the 212. We're going to cut it out of this to put it up there so that uh, we can get that all mounted. And we're back. So here's where we're sitting. You saw getting parts of this. We've replaced the shock. That's just basically a, a bicycle mountain shock rated for, uh, I want to say that one was a thousand pounds. We've put together a 35 chain split sprocket. This one's 58 teeth. Made, a, uh, made an adapter to go through them. The part I'm the most proud about and most upset I didn't get filmed is we're going to try a jack shaft pivot point and see how well that works. We got the engine mounts in place for the, the 212. I started making a gas can. I'm not entirely certain if I actually like this one or not. We also did a little bit of framework here so that the uh, the starter motor of our 212, because we're going electric start only with this 212, uh, needs to fit right there. Along with this, I've done some, uh, some exhaust tubing. I started an intake. I think that's pretty much where we're at at the moment. Now I have a whole second frame of this bike. So if there are things that you'd like more detail on or would like to see how I did put it in the comments below those are the body panels to this bike is we're going to clean those up mold those and relay them all as fi in fiberglass the plastics will never be used on this bike and it's because of the fact that uh, I have a whole second frame but no plastic I think that pretty well puts you up to date with where we're sitting at the moment Let's give you a quick little pan around and uh, in the next video we're going to be putting the engine together, testing it, and maybe even getting it mounted into place. I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. We'll see. All right, so remember to please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Have a good one.